Aja, thank you for allowing us into your beautiful home. I just wanted to stop by and find out a little bit more about you and I'd love for you to share with us some information about your artwork that you have in your house. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Aja Johnson um, and I've been an avid collector ooh, for over 20 years now. Actually, I started, um, my father and my parents got me started in collecting art um, years ago. So I've, I've, and I've really enjoyed it, yeah. Good, and so when they got you started, did they take you to galleries? Did they take you to different countries and looking at art? What was that process for you? Yeah, so art, you know, the theater is art for me as well, right? And so as a young girl, my dad used to always take me to the theater. And so that was a form of art. Then we started going to different art museums and galleries. Um, and so for me, I can feel the energy from the artists, it feels like the energy lives through their work, um, especially paintings. I can just feel the vibration and that's something that I really, really enjoy, especially as I've gotten older um, and more in tune with things. I'm like, oh, I feel the energy from the artists. And so that box that I'm like, oh, that would be perfect, right? Or, um, I don't know, if I just like it, you know, just, just pieces that I'm like, I just, I just have to have that piece, it speaks to me. Um, so I think, you know, the, the energy and the vibration just kind of draws me in at times. Beautiful purse and great sculpture work um, to your side and behind you. Tell us a little bit about the pieces we're looking at. So this piece, I love Basquiat, right? And I don't own a piece yet, but that's a goal to, to have one. Um, but I had this vintage um, Gucci and I had a local artist here from Houston draw um, different, one of my favorite handbags. Um, this piece behind me here is a power figure and they're typically from the Congo tribe and they have, I don't know if you notice, there's this glass in the middle and they typically take herbs and things of that sort and put inside of the uh, power figure and it's to ward off evil, um, evil doings. And so I, I feel a sense of protection with having them in my home. I actually have several um, pieces in my home. This is actually a power figure here as well. This is a little bit different. They have the different uh, like medicine balls that they put in there. There's powder and medicine and things of that sort inside of the balls. I don't really touch it too much, but um, and then they also have the nails and the um, different uh, shavings on the edges of the call. But anywho, um, so yeah, so I, I actually love power figures. I have several of them throughout the house. You're collecting your art is I love that you said what speaks to you, what you love about it. Is there a vision in mind of the full collection or just one by one? You just want to find a piece and yeah. collect it. Oh yeah, it's just one by one. I just want different pieces. I have so many different pieces um, from you know different places around the world. Some from when I travel, some I've just picked up here and there at different art galleries. Um, you know, I have art from you know the Cameroon tribe and um, I have uh, Mayan art, you know, so I, I just like to collect art just when I see it and it's something that speaks to me That's what I go with. Okay, great. And when you want to know something about the artist What are you curious about about this the artists that make the art? Uh, just the history. I love history, right? So the background a lot of my art is tribal so it comes from different tribes from around the world um, I have a lot of black art in my home. So um, the different tribes and where it, it comes from and why they um, create this art. It's not necessarily they're just, you know, creating it. It's, it's for a reason. It's for a purpose. Um, power figures are um, made in different villages to protect the village um, from evil doing. So I, I enjoy that, uh, the history behind uh, the art. Yeah, the, the pieces that I have from Cameroon. Um, royalty would yeah. wear that, you know, so I feel like I'm royal. Yes. <laughs> so I have to have some of those pieces. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's amazing the connection because I know you personally and I know that you are definitely into inspiration, you're yeah. into protection, you're into also those things. So, do you feel your personality also attracts you toward the oh, meaning yeah. behind a lot of the art? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel like the vibration, like I say, it, it, I, I'm attracted to these things. Um, you know, so yeah, for sure. <laughs> they speak to me and I speak to them, I guess. 
<laughs> okay, good. Was there anything else you'd like just viewers watching this to know about you? Anything that you're working on that you think that they should be aware uh, of? I think, you know, art is subjective. So yes. whatever is beautiful to you, you don't have to be a, a billionaire to have a collection, you know. Um, when things, you know, you see things and, and they speak to you, I, I say, you know, go for it. Um, you know, I don't know. I just, I just love collecting art. So if it speaks to you, go for it. You don't have to be, you know, wealthy in order to have a beautiful collection. Thank you. One piece at a time. Wonderful. And I agree. But thank you so much for allowing us in your home. Absolutely.